Fox 2. My Empress, she has destroyed three of the drones. Very well done, Miss Skylar. You are as good as we've heard. It must be very taxing to fight such advanced craft given your age. You're only as old as you feel. I could do this all day. So you really intend to stand against us all on your own? You could make a tactical retreat. I won't let you harm innocent people. Magnificent. A final stand by a lone hero. A true poetic display to add to the tale. This isn't some kind of fantasy novel. You're going to kill so many. Yet I will save many more. You know, I haven't told anyone outside of my little group about the real plan. Secrecy is everything to us. But since you're about to die, I'll explain myself. Like how destroying the United States somehow creates world peace? Let me guess. Communism comes in and saves the day? Oh, please. I am far beyond conflict over something as trivial as economic systems. My nation is a band of hypocrites. They tout the glory and perfection of communism, yet continue to benefit from the private industry of the West. They prop up their own failures on the back of capitalism. That's why I won't target them. They aren't the only ones who have chosen to dump all their chips in America. Everyone depends on you, whether they're willing to admit it or not, and that makes America the only logical target to unite the world against me. I'm sorry, what? You want the world to come for you? But of course, I am the villain of the story, and the world needs a villain to unite as one. Think back to World War II. It was the last time most of the world united against a common enemy. Russia, China, and America were all on the same side. They fought as one, and it led them to a glorious victory. But the second there were no more enemies to fight, they began to find new opponents. The superpowers that appeared afterwards did not stay united. They started arguing, fighting proxy wars in third world nations. You should know, you were in Vietnam. Humanity needs to have an enemy. It is their nature. It's why they build weapons like you and me. Thus, the only way to unite humanity is to create an enemy that threatens everything, that brings them together to fight the evil they all agree exists. And I will become that evil. If it means killing millions to save billions, then I accept that burden. That, Miss Skylar, is the true finality of humanity. You're insane. Am I? Am I insane? Maybe, but it hardly matters. The world is in the fringe of chaos once again. At least this way I can control and focus the chaos onto myself. They'll unite to fight me for the crimes I have committed. And this beautiful weapon will conceal me in the deep ocean. It'll take decades to find me. And in that time, perhaps humanity will work out their differences. Do you like her? This submarine. I call her Wuji. Chinese for without limit. I've never seen a submarine so massive. Or any ship for that matter. She's an aircraft carrier too. An underwater aircraft carrier. Has that ever been done before? Japan had some briefly. But they were nothing close to this. Clunky by comparison. The laptop has all the specs we could ever want. Blueprints, armament lists, materials, everything. It looks almost impregnable. Kika? Can you take a look at this? Fascinating. I could spend all day going over these plans. The tech is impressive. We need a weakness. Hmm. Well, the outside is practically immune to conventional weapons. But here, look. The hangar door? Yes, it's thinner than the rest. And the internals aren't armored as well. I'm not sure you'd sink it this way, but plug a few missiles into that door and she'll definitely feel it. Give me some time and I'll try to work out a way to bring her down. Got it. Cat? Katarina? Can you hear me? Dallas, where are you? Skylar needs help. She's near Midway. We're sending some data over to you. Understood. Receiving. Whoa. Yeah. Hangar door is the only weakness we see right now. We're trying to work out something else. Keep us informed. We'll do what we can. Still can't reach Skylar due to the interference from the nuke, but we'll be over Midway in 30 minutes. <laughs>